in this next video, I'm going to show you how to work out both the diameter and the radius of a circle when you know what the circumference is. So, the equation to work out circumference is up here, c equals pi d, c is just the circumference, pi is the irrational number, 3.142, and the diameter is the distance all the way across the circle, like in this diagram here. Now remember, circumference is just another word for perimeter when we're talking about circles. So it's just talking about this distance around here. Now, when we have these questions, the best thing to do is to start by writing down the formula for circumference, so pi d. Then you should substitute in the information that you know. So in the first one, we know that the circumference, this distance here, is 25 centimetres. So I'm going to change C, which is the circumference, to 25. Now, remember, we're trying to find the diameter, this distance here, which is D in the equation. But D is being multiplied by pi. So what I need to do to solve this equation, to find D, I need to do the opposite. And instead of multiplying by pi, I need to divide by pi. Remember, when you're solving equations, you have to do the same thing to both sides of the equation to keep it balanced. So on the right-hand side, when I do pi divided by pi, remember, when you divide something by itself, you get 1. So pi divided by pi leaves you with 1d. And on the left-hand side, all that's left to do is to calculate. So you actually put that part in the calculator and do 25 divided by pi. Now, that gives me the answer to D. So D is equal to 7.957 dot dot dot. And I'm going to round my answer to three significant figures. So I want three numbers in my answer. So one, two, three. But that seven rounds the five up to six. So it's 7.96. Remember to include the units in this question. The circumference is given in centimeters. So the diameter is also in centimeters. Okay, so that's the first one done. That was really easy. All you had to do was divide the circumference by pi to find the diameter. Okay, now on to the next one. So we're going to start the same way. And because we're given the circumference, I'm going to write down the formula for circumference. So C equals pi D. Now, don't worry that in this question it's asking for the radius and we don't have R in our equation. We'll worry about that later. First, let's just find the diameter like we did in the first example. So, the next step is to just substitute in what you know. So remember, we are given the circumference is 52 meters. Okay, so this distance is 52. So I'm going to change C to 52, and that leaves me with pi D. Now, just like in the example up here, to find the value of D, the diameter, we need to divide by pi. And remember, if we divide by pi on the right-hand side, we must do the same on the left-hand side. So here, pi divided by pi gives me 1d. I'm just left with 1. And if I do 52 divided by pi, it works out the diameter. So I'm going to write it up here. So 52 divided by pi gives me the diameter. And when I put that in the calculator, probably going to give me a long number here, lots of decimals, so it gives me 16.552 dot dot dot. So leave that answer on your calculator screen. We don't want to start rounding during the question because we want our answer at the end to be really accurate. So this is the diameter. Now let's remind ourselves what it's actually asking for in this question. It says find the radius. Well we've just worked out the diameter, which is the distance, remember, all the way across the shape. So that distance is 16.552 dot dot dot. But we only want the radius, which is half of the diameter. So to get the radius, you just have to half this answer here. We're going to divide by 2. So leaving that answer on your screen, you're now going to divide that answer by 2. So if you've left that answer on your screen, just press divide by 2 and then equals. And it should give you 8.2760 dot dot dot. 
Okay, and that is the radius. So just to finish, I'm going to round that answer to three significant figures. So three numbers, one, two, three. So the six rounds that seven up to eight. So my final answer for R is 8.28. And be careful, the units have changed on this question. This time, the circumference was given in metres. So our radius is also in metres. Okay, so the first one was easy, finding the diameter, you just divide by pi. But for the radius, not only do you have to divide by pi, that you then have to remember to half your answer at the end in order to find the radius. So I hope now when you see questions to do with circumference, you'll know what to do. Okay, bye-bye for now.